Hello all, this video is on temperature and humidity module Modbus SHT20 sensor XYMD02. This uh, box module is built on Sensiron SHT20, an uh, industry standard module and a low cost version. SHT20 is low cost version and the protocol, communication protocol is RS485 Modbus. The B minus A plus uh, pins are taken out at uh, terminal, green terminal and the supply voltage allowed is 5 to 30 volt. We will be using a DC socket and a DC adapter, 12 volt, 1 ampere adapter. The connection for uh, B minus and A plus, we will be using one RS485 to USB dongle to uh, verify the hex codes. So this RS485 to USB dongle is connected to PC and a um, uh, port is allotted, not on the port. We will be using QMOD master, an open source uh, uh, Modbus communication master uh, software. It is open source and free to download. Open the software and settings, uh, use the base address as 0 and the NDN as big NDN, that is high byte first, first. And under Modbus RTU setting, uh, note on the COM port allotted to RS485 to USB and the baud rate is 9600 A10 1. The 9600 is the default baud rate of the SHT20 uh, XYMD02. And the settings, slave address is 1, which is the default address of the module. And function code is 0x04, which is read input registers. Function code used is 0x04, read input registers. And then the start address is 0x01, hex. And the number of registers to read is 2. Uh, do not use more than this, use only 2. Uh, so starting address is 0x01 and 2 registers. And then command is read write. Now you get the value in decimal. First one is the temperature and second one is the humidity. We have to divide it by 10 in the uh, code Arduino code. And if you view the bus monitor, you can see the hex code flow. The flow of hex bytes, that is a query is 8 bytes we are sending, 0, 1, 0, 4 starting from that. And uh, 0, 0, 0, 2 is the number of registers we are going to read and the final 2 bytes are CRC error check. And the written bytes, 9 bytes of data we get. And here, uh, 0107, 0117, these 2 bytes are for uh, temperature. And 02, D9 value, this is the humidity value, X value. And if you convert it to the decimal using the calculator, you get this uh, value in decimal, 279. And finally, you have to divide it by 10 in the Arduino code to get the exact value of uh, temperature and humidity. The first register is temperature value and the second register is humidity value. So these two values we have to divide by 10 and this is the this is the data sheet of XYMD02 uh, SHT20 module and you can see the uh, Modbus protocol command registers that are allowed. Uh, we have used already 0x04 to read the input registers. There is also 0x06 and 10 to write the registers. In QMOD master, we use the read input register 0x04 command and start address is 01. At 01, we have the temperature reading. At 02, we have the humidity reading. And the uh, data sheet, we can see the uh, uh, other uh, address. 101, 102, 103 and 104. 101 is the device address location. 102 is baud rate location. 103 and 104, temperature and humidity correction. To read this, we will be using the read holding registers. That is also called as keep registers. It is mentioned as keep register in the data sheet. Read uh, holding register and the address ID is, uh, that is address is 0x01. 101 for device ID, 102 for the baud rate. So read, you can see the device ID is 1 and baud rate is 9600 and correction is 0, 0, yeah, temperature and humidity correction. If you want to change the device address or baud rate, you have to use the 0x06 or 10 command. That is the right single register or right multiple uh, registers. <coughs> 
we'll use multiple read uh, write multiple registers that is uh, 0x10 and the address location is 101 101 is for id 102 is for baud rate so we'll uh, read this uh, two registers and if you want to change you can change the id to 2 and the baud rate is 2 11 5 200 and then command read write the id and baud rate will be changed now let us see the connection this is the rs485 sht20 module and we'll be using rs485 to ttl device and this uh, uh, regular device with red it has got some uh, communication issue issues so always we'll be using rs485 to ttl auto direct module like this it has got rx tx pins and then vcc ground at a plus and b minus the mod bus connection that is the module is connected directly and we'll be using arduino uno and uh, i2c lcd to display the uh, result i2c lcd is uh, has got a backpack and uh, it addresses 0x27 it is connected to sda and scl of uh, arduino ab is connected to ab of rs485 to ttl and then uh, uh, rx pin that is the 1011 software serial we are using R, uh, rx goes to tx and tx goes to rx i to c lcd is connected to a4 and a5 this is a simple connection and in the code we will be using the header files that is a library liquid crystal i to c uh, library and then the modbus master library these two libraries you have to install from the library manager and then the, in the code the header files are included and uh, liquid crystal i2c we uh, initiate an object using uh, i that is a uh, address of the i2c 0x27 and we initiate the mod bus master mod object and rxtx pins we initiate and inside the void loop we use the function that is a uh, read input registers read input registers function it has got parameters two parameters one is the address start address 0001 and number of registers to read two so node dot read input registers is used to read the uh, start address and the number of uh, registers and uh, if the result is okay we use the get temperature uh, uh, <coughs> buffer and the get humidity buffer and finally we divide it by 10 as per data sheet the value or decimal value to be divided by 10 for temperature as well as the humidity to get the final values and then uh, in the serial monitor we get the result temperature and humidity temperature in degree celsius and uh, humidity in percentage and finally in the lcd uh, you get the values that is a temperature value and humidity value displayed on the i2c lcd so this is uh, industrial grade ssg20 module but low cost ssg20 is low cost thank you for watching